Back in Alpha 16, I did a video showing you guys how to unlock the admin or god tools in 7 Days to Die. It involved having to go in and edit some core system files, some XML files, uncomment a couple things, then relaunch the game to get them back in. But fortunately, the fun pimps put them just in the game as is and added quite a few new ones here. So here in Alpha 19, I'm going to show you how to access these much easier. To get started, first you have to have creative mode enabled. There's two easy ways to enable creative mode in a game. The first one's before you even launch it, when you go to continue game and you click on your world, click on the advanced tab and down at the bottom you'll see you have cheat mode. You click the arrow to turn it on and you are good to go. The other way to access the menu if you're already in game is to hit the F1 key on your keyboard. This will bring up the command prompt and just type in the letters CM as one word and hit enter. You'll see it tells you creative mode is on. Do the same thing again and it'll turn it off. Then hit escape to close it out and when you open your inventory you'll see the light bulb down here at the end of the toolbar at the very top. When you click it this will bring up all the blocks and items they have in the game. But what you need to do to activate the admin tools is at the very top you'll see this little stack of computers here says dev blocks. If you click it now you can see it's kind of beige to let you know it is active. Then all you have to do is just type in admin and it'll bring up all the pink and purple tools that you normally see some of us use in these games. Now a lot of these items are self-explanatory things you've seen some of us use in the game before. You got the instant death pistol which will kill any living entity in one hit and then if you shoot them again it'll get their body to go away. You got the dev digger tool which will blow through any block in the game and you can actually dig all the way down to bedrock and I think you can even bust out the bedrock underneath it. You got the paintbrush, which allows you to just paint indefinitely without having to use any kind of paint. Uh, the mining helmet already has the helmet light already in it. And then you got some fun ones. You got like the dev rocket boots, which if you put these on, allows you to jump, you know, extremely high. Which is, it's kind of, it's kind of fun how far you can launch yourself with these things. It, it is kind of a trip or whatever. Of course, you're going to be getting some frame drops with this sort of thing because you're launching yourself so far. But it is kind of fun to use. The Ring of Fire, you wear this in the place of gloves and it gives you the ability to punch things and set them on fire as far as other zombies go. It doesn't work against you know blocks or anything like that. And unfortunately, your hands aren't actually on fire. You don't have some sort of Super Saiyan thing going on. It's just what it is here. And then you have some that are just kind of good for the game as far as kind of getting things started here. Like this one is a note to testers. They put this in the game for people like myself where you can get this and you read it. And what it does is it just gives you a bunch of items to get started with. So if you're starting a testing world, you're just like, I don't want to spend the time doing this. Grab yourself one of these, read it, and boom. Now you've got all the items and a whole bunch of stuff in your inventory that you might need just to kind of get started here. And then you've got... The looting shades plus 100%, so if you just really want to test out some good looting, you've got, uh, this is even better. This one's plus 100, this one's plus 200. Then you have the tough guy shirt, which heat resistance is really the best thing for this, except for, you know, the 20,000 health you can wear and pretty much not ever die. And then you got the full spec in case you want to jack up all your stats and kind of get those really high up there. Then you can use this to completely wipe out everything that's there. And then you can get this one too is the Find Trader Quest, which if you just kind of get started off into a world and you're not quite sure which direction to go, you can read this one. Boom. And it will give you the direction of the nearest trader, which from here is that direction. Or Navis Gain, so it's pretty obvious where this one's at. But it's just kind of some fun stuff to get you started off here. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. If it was, do me a favor and leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.